everybody thank you for watching I know I haven't really been making videos lately I really was trying to make a Valentine's Day video but I've just been so caught up with school and work I just haven't had the time so I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look today it's just a simple everyday look I guess that you can call it um, just with high-end products they're all my favorite products at the time so if you would like to see how I got this look then please keep on watching alright so first as always I'm going to be taking my Smashbox photo finish primer in light I'm going to apply that all over my face and this helps with um, with pores and little lines that you have or just smoothing out your skin I really love this stuff um, I'm almost out obviously so if you guys have any suggestions on good primers, just please comment down below because I'm going to be trying a new one soon. I really want to try one. Um, and I know the Benefit Professional one is one of my also favorites. So after you put the primer all over your face, I'm going to be going with my MAC Match Master Foundation in 1.0. And I'm just going to take a few pumps on the back of my hand. And I just dab my finger into the product and I just dot it all over my face. That way you have like control of how much is going on other than just like dipping your brush into the foundation and just sliding it all over. I just take my beauty blender and just blend that all out. If you're wondering why I'm like looking this way, it's because my camera has like a little screen that I can look at myself, so it really helps me if I can't see my mirror that well. And if you have watched any of my other videos, I also go over my eyes with foundation and sometimes my concealer just so it evens out the skin tone around my eyes because it's very like purpley kind of. Mm. I don't know. Just like veiny. Looks kind of weird so that balances everything out. Now for concealer, I'm going to be using the Lorac Perfection Concealer and this is in... PC One Fair, and with this I just squeeze a little on the back of my hand. This stuff goes a long way, so you have to be really careful. It's very thick, and I just apply that with my finger, and kind of like a V shape under your eye. And then just to highlight a little, just you can go down the bridge of your nose and between your eyebrows right here, Cupid's bow, and the rest I just take on my beauty blender, just do it on my chin. Once your concealer is done, before you set it with powder, if you're using a liquid highlighter like I do, I use liquid and powder, but in this case I'm going to be using the High Beam Liquid Highlighter by Benefit. I just apply it to like my cheekbone, a little on my nose, and I just take the same beauty blender in the back of it and just dab it in. This gives you a really glowy look. I would recommend this if you were like more fair like me. Just because it's pink, like a pink undertone. Champagne pop I like, but it's just a little yellow. So it doesn't really show up on me like how it does on other people. I'm so jealous. Okay. So that just gives you like a little glowy natural glow. And then for setting my face I use the Makeup Forever HD powder. And I just take a little fluffy brush and just dab a little bit 
and it's just set under my eyes with that. And you can kind of see in the camera that it's really white. If you're using any flash photography, I don't recommend this because you're going to have huge white like circles or face, whatever you use it around. You can see it in the camera right now. It looks kind of weird. I just brush the excess away. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Lorac Perfection Powder, and this is in PF2. PF2 Light. Just taking my brush and I'm going to just sweep that all around my face. For contouring and highlighting, I'm going to be taking this Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in this color Fawn right here. Just go ahead and shape out your cheekbones. And if you have a big forehead, you can put a little bit around here just so then it looks smaller and you can also do it around your jawline to make an appearance of a sharper jawline. And then for blush I'm using the Too Faced Love Flush Brush. Blush. I can never say that. And How Deep Is Your Love and it just looks like this. Taking that on just a little, the same kind of brush and just put that on the apples on my cheeks. And lastly for my face, I'm going to be going in with the Becca Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill on an It Cosmetics brush. I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones. Going over that same area I took the Benefit High Beam. As always, I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade, and this is in Soft Brown. Oops. Soft Brown with the same brush, the Anastasia Beverly Hills 7 brush. I'm just going to go in and define my brows a little. camera is not focusing. So after doing my eyebrows, I just set it with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This stuff is like hairspray for your eyebrows. They will not move all day. I love it. The only thing that's not going to be high end is my eyeliner that I tight line with, which is the Revlon Color Stay um, little gel pen thing. Cause I don't, I don't know. I don't really have a high end one, so this one works just fine for me. After I tight line my eyes, I go in with this Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish shadow primer and prime both of my eyes I really like this primer I've been using the Urban Decay primer potion for a while which I like so I just kind of ran out so I got this in like a little sample kit so I decided to try it and I like it so far first color I'm going to be taking is in the Naked Smoky palette. The color right here, the first one in high. Put that on both of my eyelids. Just so that sets the primer. Go in with this color right here in Cumbus. Just put that on the rest of my eye, like in the crease and on to the brow bone. Just so then that sets in, it's kind of like my skin color almost. Like, it's like just a very matte, really pretty matte color for just all over your eye or your eyelid. Next color I'm taking in the Naked 2 palette 
is gonna be this one right here. It's gonna be this one right here in these. That is my favorite crease color just because it's like the perfect transition for any skin tone. I really love it. And I'm just put that in the crease. Just blend all that together. The last color I'm going to be taking is in the Gwen Stefani Urban Decay. This color right here in Harajuku. Oh, just kidding. That's in... I don't know how to say that. But I'm taking that one. I'm just going right over that with Anahem. Anahem. I don't know. However... I couldn't read it from right here, okay? Sorry. Moving on to the eyeliner, I'm taking the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. I've heard kind of good and bad things about this stuff, and I just recently got it, so I will see how it is. I have never used it before, so I might have to go over it with my other favorite eyeliner, which is not high-end, but that's okay. So now that your eyes are lined, I'm just going to go ahead and draw the wing. Okay, so I think they look pretty even. My first impression of this eyeliner is pretty black to me. It's very precise. I really like it. So now I'm going to put on some false eyelashes and some mascara. So I'm going to put some glue and just wait for this to dry. Not dry. Just to get kind of tacky. And then I just take it on a pair of tweezers like this and then I just apply them. Which white glue is very messy so I always go back over it with black eyeliner don't worry it will be fixed so once that's dry enough you can just go back over that with your little pen and it should cover it right up so now you can just curl your eyelashes just be very careful when you're curling them with fake eyelashes that you do it very gently and you curl them together so they blend in. And for mascara, I'm going to be taking this Calvin Klein mascara in 800 black. The thing I like about the wand in this is it has like a little twisty thing right here that you can twist it so it's long and then it goes short. So if you want like thicker, you can do the short side like this, and if you want just like length, you can untwist it. And it'll give you more fibers and all that. Uh, and I'm just gonna blend my eyelashes together. With that same eyeliner I used earlier that I tight lined with and I'm gonna I'm gonna just line the waterline down here. Last thing I'm going to do is take my Too Faced lipstick and this is in the color Nude Beach which is my favorite at the moment and I've used it in like two of my videos. So I'm just going to put that all over my lips. I'm 
On top I'm going to go in with the Smashbox lip gloss and this is in the color Coraline. Coraline, same thing. Last thing I do is, I forgot, to set it with MAC Fix Plus. That completes the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up as always. If you would like to see any other videos or requests for anything, just always comment down in the description box. And all the products will be linked down below. And my previous videos. And you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. All that will be down below.